Hey there, it's Elizabeth Pfeiffer from ElizabethPfeiffer.com and today's topic of conversation is blowing through your shift. Um, and so what does that mean? So I work with a lot of clients and I see a lot of clients looking on Facebook and there are a lot of healers on Facebook and we're constantly focusing on clearing, 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 get it out, get it out, get it out, get it out, make it go away, make it go away, make it go away. And there's nothing wrong with that. There are some areas sometimes where you need to identify what it is that's holding you back and then let it go. And that is in essence, um, a clearing process. However, there is this, <clears throat> this thing called blowing through your shift where you're doing so much clearing that you're just clearing, 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 and it just piles up. All the clearing just piles up. And you never take a moment to stop and allow the first pieces that you did to come through you. And so what happens is as you keep adding more clearing, get it out, get it out, get it out, um, you use the process of clearing as a deflection or as an avoidance to actually feel the things that are coming up because the more you clear, 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 the more this stays down because you're adding more stuff on top of it and you add more stuff on top of it and you build that murky swamp um, down below where all of those pieces that you don't really want to look at um, emotionally or are, are stored. And so when you're trying to blow through your shift, which is um, really just kind of doing more and more and more and more and more on top of the other without allowing the other pieces to come up, um, what will happen is that stuff will eventually rise to the surface. It will eventually come up. And so the choice is, if you integrate the first shift that you have, it comes up and it allows it to go and it leaves in a very graceful way. And when you clear and clear and clear and you don't allow for integration and you just keep doing more work and more work and more work, you're kind of like building this murky swamp volcano because the moment you stop doing that clearing work and allow yourself to integrate because you're probably going to hear a ton of healers um, or clearing people or your coaches or whatever um, say to you, well, you need to integrate. And that is going to be like, but I don't want to integrate. I want to keep doing more and more and more and more. You're going to have to integrate. And when you do, if you've kept blowing through your shift that entire time, then what happens during integration is all of those pieces that you have just cleared over the last couple months or years or whatever comes up and it comes up full blast, full blown. It's deep. It's um, dramatic. It's tearful. And we're not talking just like one sitting session. We're talking days, weeks, sometimes even months on an emotional roller coaster. So we're inviting you today to think about how much you're clearing, how fast, and to notice, are you one of those people that when you're done with a coach or um, a healer, are you moving on to the next one immediately? How many classes, how many sessions are you doing in a month? Are you doing it at a pace? Are you doing extra? Are you working with more than one person? Are you seeking one person for one thing and then clearing things with another and then hopping on Facebook threads and clearing there? And are you just in that process of trying to blow through your shift? Because two things will happen. Number one, you're not going to get to your destination any faster. And number two, there is no destination. <laughs> there is nowhere to go. You are not ascending off the planet tomorrow. I can pretty much guarantee that. Um, I don't know anybody right now who's going to operate off the planet after doing uh, several hundred clearing sessions. So just keep that in mind. There is no destination. It's all a process. It's all a process of growth, of learning, of evolution, of knowing yourself and being aware and blowing your, through your shift is not necessarily going to take you there. In fact, the fastest way to blow through your shit and your shift would be to take that class or that coach or that process or that healing, do it and allow for integration before moving on to the next healing session that will elevate you, um, your awareness, allow you to grow and evolve, to shift and process the energy and move through it at a faster rate. 
So we hope that was helpful for you. If so, leave us comments below and let us know. And don't forget to pop over to our Soulful Shift Kickers group on Facebook where we talk about all kinds of esoteric mind shift and alignment. Have a great day.